Hands up, Reps are on now, Antilag as well. Away from the lines, a pretty even start right the way across the grid. Beeman was on the inside. Oh, contact to the back there, Beeman nearly got fired into the wall. Such a good thing. Beeman's got the inside for the corner, but uh, there's going to be a big fight for corner number two. Oh, contact now between Beeman and Shane Builder. as well in the background. Timis Yarnov is leading at the moment. Around the Joker lap, Shanae, I think he's got straight to the Joker. We're on board with him now. He can't look him as well as gravel in the face. He's, he's very, he's very different from being, from being out front. It's, it's very hard to see with all the dust that we have here, uh, especially in that section. Of course, the long as one center, you can see everything, but you don't want to have to Oh, Ogier, okay, Ogier then. That looks like Ogier has had a spin or possibly a mechanical, but either way, that car is stuck on the infield on surface somewhere. So Ogier has not had a very good day. Builder, though, having a cracking day so far. Is he finally going to make it through to the semi finals? We know the crowd will love that. They're going to love it. Yeah, does anything here. A lot of home support for the car. Yeah, uh, uh, is especially a crowd favorite, but people love John Villeneuve, of course, like the uh, F1 champs. Oh, a spin, a spin down in, that's Timus Yarnov. Timus Yarnov spun on the exit of the hairpin, Chanae comes around the outside of him. Timus Yarnov looking out to time, Villeneuve comes back in off the joke lap, slots in in front of Chanae. Great job by him, but Timus Yarnov, the current European Rallycross champion, sitting facing the wrong way, has only just got the car going again. Sorry, car interrupting, yeah, that's have contacted Tiberziano's car really hard. Vietnam did a great job avoiding everything. And a traditional running cross line there. Yeah, you can see the line there. That, there's no track limits in running cross out there. Vietnam knows car one by heart. He's been racing here for a NASCAR, so he knows the racing line. He knows the braking zone. So he's going to be uh, always extremely fast for the one. Say the press conference yesterday. That really, it was results uh, uh, here. Uh, you know, at the moment, uh, uh, saw him. Here is his career in Formula One. Oh yeah, big time. He started for the Atlantic performance training. Well, here in the podcast. Up around the little jump at the back centre. Then you're on board to Chennai. It's flames from Bill Nelson. It's all down in front. The left hand uh, transitions the car up and over another jump to exit the Hippodrome. That's all the struck the track. Chennai sideways off the jump. Tank slapper on the brakes, but gets it tidied up. Two rights to go, and now part of the long run down the straight. Actually, in the tight section, but on the asphalt, it seems that Villeneuve is extremely confident for turn one. So, late breaking, he doesn't want the wheel to be really fast, so early on the gas, so he makes up a lot of ground there. Lovely car, you know, there's where you can see the rear end of the car just moving slightly to the left, opening it in just a little bit, making sure the car turns in. Perfect technique on board, fixed inputs on the steering wheel, lovely job by Villeneuve. So, Villeneuve is the hairpin. Everybody is joking now, Ogier is missing, Sinead sideways, I think the is coming up, Carl. Yeah, it's him. Uh, you see that Bill Davis was probably a bit on the gravel surface, he's struggling a little more with the car, but still he's, he's, he's got enough lead. Way out of there, yes, really good. That was not absolutely hoping the anywhere near him. Look at that gap that he's made for himself. 39 it's on Queen's Division. Another decent heat up his belt. And he's got to get four good heats in. We want to see him in the semi finals at his home event. Will he be wants to be there? Come back, yeah, come back. <laughs> Extra pressure from those home fans. Here's the start, Carl. Great, great start by everyone. Already a lot of contacts between Villeneuve and he, they, those guys worked really hard to avoid contact with the wall and they could save the car. Timis Yanov was in the ruts there, wasn't he? Yeah. So the front wheel almost hooked and ripped him round. Yeah, that's too bad. It, it, it's, the car getting rocked a lot there. There's a, a bunch of holes, so he lost it. Uh, thankfully, nobody uh, to contacted his car. Nobody collected him on the way round. Here's the result of that one then. Beeman takes the win. Jacques Milner second. David Genet, Timis Yanov and Stan Oja with a DNF.